Hi guys, welcome back. My name's Rachel and today I'm going to be cutting my mullet. Um, yeah, I've just washed it this morning so it's still damp. Um, this is how it's looking right now. It's a little bit overgrown. Typically it looks really nice today, <laughs> which always happens like the day that I'm going to be changing my hair. I swear this always happens, like if you go to the hairdressers or whatever the morning that you want to get it done it looks really great it's been looking terrible for weeks but suddenly today it looks great but yeah it's just a bit overgrown i'm not going to do a huge trim anyway but i asked you guys if you wanted to see how i cut my hair using a razor instead of scissors and you guys said yes you do so i'm going to be showing you that um if you want the full in-depth like step by step full tutorial of how i cut my mullet which is kind of like a better starting point that's on my channel and I'll link it in the bio. Um, that'll be a bit more in depth. That's just using scissors. Today I'm gonna to be using a razor. This is a texturizing razor. I got this in Sally's, it was pretty cheap. Um, I've just changed the, like, the blade so it's nice and sharp. And I'm gonna dampen my hair down because when you use a razor you wanna make sure your hair is wet. Otherwise, it will just give you like split ends. It will just make your hair feel like absolutely terrible. And yeah, um, the reason why I like using a razor is it creates a different sort of texture and a different effect on the hair. You don't get those like blunt edges. Like, you know, when you pull your hair up and you cut it and you have this just strong edges, you don't get any of that with the razor. Um, and this one's a texturizing razor as well. So it's even more like no lines, just like very soft, quite natural and bohemian kind of effect, um, which is perfect for like shaggy mullety haircuts. And it's quite user friendly almost because you, you can kind of hide your mistakes. So you'll see when I do this, I just kind of go in and like hack pieces off. It's not like a very systematic way of doing it. I'm just gonna, just carve some bits off and kind of just keep looking at it and see how it's looking. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So we're just gonna jump right in. I'll show you guys the full 360 of how it is looking like today. Um, it's just, there's just a little bit too much up here and around here, but it's mostly the back, I think. It's gotten quite, there's, like, there's too much here. Um, it's just too bulky, in my opinion. Um, you know, like if I bring it all forwards, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just, there's too much at the bottom here and all of these ends, the quarantine home bleaching is catching up with me, which you'd expect. Um, so it just needs a good trim. If you have your hair platinum blonde, you're gonna, you're gonna have to keep cutting it. That's just the rules. So I'm going to give it a good comb. It's freshly washed and then I'm going to spritz it down with a spray bottle. So I've just spritzed it down. I've separated it in half down the back. I'm just gonna trim a little bit off the bottom. So with the razor, I'm actually just gonna kind of go like this against the hair. So I like to kind of pull it all over onto one side. And then if there's any long bits, cut them off and then pull it all over onto the other side. With the layers, in my previous tutorial I was basically pulling them all straight up and going like this but that's made it quite heavy in the middle so I'm gonna try something different today and I'm gonna kind of take if you imagine your whole head is an orange I'm gonna take like segments of my orange I mean this is what I'm trying to do this is way easier for someone else up like this and then you want to kind of just it's really hard to explain what I'm doing because I don't even really know so I'm pulling them up like this take my razor and I'm kind of scooping like I want to kind of scoop out that middle bit because I want the long layers at the bottom but short layers at the top just so Okay, so I'm not sure how well it's going. We'll see how it turns out. 
But basically, you see how I've got like a segment of my hair. I want to take my razor and I want to kind of preserve the length right at the bottom and almost scoop out the middle. Like the, the goal is to go like this and kind of take it all out just so it's less heavy in the middle but it's like wispy and long at the ends. So now I've done the back, that's the hard bit, because I couldn't really see what I was doing. I kind of just made it up as we went along. So now I'm going to go more into the top. I want it to be shorter on top, so I don't get it as bulbous. You want to hear that noise? I've honestly just started hacking pieces off. Um, hopefully you guys are visual learners because I can't really explain what I'm doing. I'm literally just kind of like feeling around and like taking pieces off. Um, just to kind of, but like you can with a razor, like it really doesn't have to be perfect. You can just hack pieces off like, do you remember when scene queens used to cut their hair with like an actual shaving razor? If they could get away with that, then, you know, we can do anything. So I'm just taking these like sections like this and just going along it like I'm kind of leaving the fringe out till last which is what I normally do. I want to like carve out the space around my ears because I like to have my ears visible. So, you see how because it's texturized, you can just kind of go against a piece of hair and it doesn't take the whole thing off, so it just really softens it out. I'm literally just taking pieces off at this point and like making it up as I go along. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull up this way and just sort of see what it <laughs> looks like. A few random short pieces. Okay, so now I'm gonna go like into it again. Where you go like take out some pieces from like inside. Okay, so now we've done all of that. I've just pretty much just left out the fringe. So, you see it's just looking quite heavy. I'm gonna do the fringe layer by layer. Um, I'm 
now realizing that it wasn't actually very even to begin with. I like it to kind of swoop around. So I'm just gonna start in the middle. As each layer gets further back, I want it to be shorter, so the bottommost layer is going to be the longest. So I'm kind of using like the texturizer to take pieces out of the bits that are laying on top. So I've done most of my hair, what I'm going to do, I've just kind of like combed it into place and I'm quite liking how it's looking. I'm just going to let it dry now um, and see how it looks tomorrow because I find that I feel like my hair just like settles in after a day of, after cutting it. I don't want to just keep hacking away at it so I'm going to see how it looks tomorrow and like do some other bits to it but um, yeah this is how it's looking right now still quite wet. I hope the back looks good because I was just cutting away. Um, but yeah, see you tomorrow. Hi, I'm back. Um, this is the next day. So I did my hair and I just sort of wet it back down, smushed it through and then went about my day, slept on it and it's today. Um, just because when my hair's first washed, it's a bit fluffy and weird and it just doesn't really like sit how I want it to be so I just thought I could kind of get a good idea of how it's actually looking today um yeah and I really like how it's looking considering the fact that I was kind of just making it up as I went along with the razor um I wasn't really checking what I was doing so but yeah I really like it I mean I don't really know what the back looks like I think the back's fine but um it's hard it's really hard to do layers on yourself with a razor and um, if you have someone to help you then that would be so much easier but I really like the way the top looks um, and I didn't have to spend hours cutting sort of into it doing point cutting like I did with my last tutorial I cut out just like so long of just me sort of cutting into everything so that it wasn't really blunt but I didn't have to do that because it just wasn't blunt because of the razor so it was actually quicker even though I didn't really know what I was doing um, <laughs> it didn't take as long, it was quite speedy, so yeah. What do you guys think? I'll show you the full, the full 360 and everything. Um, and I also feel like it's really, it's kind of brought out my rainbow fringe just because I've cut the layers all back in and everything. So I feel like before you could only really see like the red and the orange and then these bits were kind of covered up. Whereas now I kind of feel like the other colors have had a bit of a, they can shine, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually really liking the rainbow. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. Um, 
I have a video where I did that. That's my last video if you haven't seen that. But um, yeah, I'm really liking the rainbow in my fringe. So a lot more than I thought I would. So I'll probably keep it for a while. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. I'll show you guys my hair. Thank you for watching i hope this was helpful obviously it was a bit less um descriptive than the other one it was kind of just me trying it out so hopefully you guys liked it and um yeah i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye